What's up guys and welcome back to another video today we will cover Thera last time we did mills this time I will show you 10 tips and tricks to get your games a bit easier and a bit more consistent here on Thera and without further ado let's get right into it. Okay, first and foremost, we have to get rid of this annoying angle here. So smoke off the window. Fastest and best way to do so is from the T-spawn. Get into this corner after you come out of your spawn. Look for this beam up there and this leaf. Go right in the middle of those two. Take your crosshead just a bit higher, just like a centimeter or so. It doesn't have to be too far. And then W, jump for your smoke. The smoke will land perfectly in the middle. Bounce off the floor there and land perfectly in the window. I know it said it will land on the floor because it doesn't calculate in the windows but if the windows are open they will just throw through and if they're closed they will smoke off the middle perfectly just as you see here now to get you some easy mid control if you don't feel too confident by w jump throwing a smoke or you don't have the bind ready or something i don't use a bind it's just practice so no problems with that but if you don't feel confident you can do it the easy way get into this corner here for the mid smoke and then just jump throw right at the tip top of this area of the fence <coughs> jump throw your smoke smoke goes nice and deep in to the middle it will land perfectly in front of the window which does its job anyway it could boost over it theoretically depends how it evolves but this is more of a way they can still jump spot they can go over the smoke but they won't see much just by standing here anyway so it does the job and maybe we'll force the orb out i prefer the other one but if you're not confident in that just try this smoke it does the job anyway so just do that one and we'll get you a bit of easy mid control Next up, we have some smokes for the A site, which you theoretically could throw by yourself. So get your teammate to drop you another smoke here and you can do both of them. First one I'll show you now will be from the right side of this lantern up here. Look for this blue bar just like that and then throw it right in the middle. Don't throw your smoke and it will go perfectly and bounce off the wall here. Land perfectly in to CT deep just to get a bit of extra space and take a bit of more time for the rotations to come in. Next up, as I said, get your teammate to drop your smoke at the lantern up here and you can do the second one. You've done the first one from the right side of the lantern and the second one will be for the piano room but from the left side of the lantern, which is very important. So I have to get on the left side of this lantern here. And then there's a little dot right here where my crosshair is now. It's very difficult to spot, but once you get a hang of it, once you see it, you'll be good. Get there and then just come for your smoke. It will boost you a bit forwards, but that's perfect because then it will land perfectly inside of this window, blocking out any orb angles there from holding you towards underpass or even coming out main or out of short, whatever, but no vision there. So smoke those two spots off and you'll have an easy day of getting on side of it. Next up, we have a, another smoke for the B site. We will first off get into this corner right here. Look up to these light bulbs there and look for the white light bulb. Pretty simple as that. Just left with the smoke. Nothing, anything special required. It will bounce off the wall there. Land perfectly in front of this pit ramp here. So everybody short or on long behind and CT won't be able to spot you. So you've got a bit of more space, a bit of more room here so nobody can see what you're doing. Be aware they can gun jump down here and then easily frag you out while you're planting the bomb. That is a possibility, so be aware of that. But otherwise, nobody should annoy you from ramp right up here. Okay, next up, we will cover some things from the CT side. So if you've got a CT spawn, get out of here. Want to go a bit aggressive towards mid. You can do this. Get in front of the hydrant right up here. Look for the tippy top pin of this building. Just that one, which aligns with this wall there. And then just jump <laughs> through the smoke. The smoke goes nice and high. Lands on this box and fully blooms out the entire cross towards middle. So an enemy opera could not spot you up here. It does evolve and you cannot see anything. So if you want to rush up mid, go out the window. Take some mid control. You can do so just smoke this off and get you some easy middle control next up we have some aggressive utility for the a site first off you get a molly directly towards under just so you can just push down there take a rush or take some advantages there first off get this corner here look for this window frame at the top there and just the molly it goes perfectly down into the underpass into the wine cellar stopping enemies from actually rushing out here just to prevent them from taking a bit of more room so you have time for your teammates to come down here and maybe peek and take an easy frag to go aggressive on A and take your easy peek and an easy frag on A and underpass, then you need this flash. First off, as I showed you before, go up here, do the molly, prevent the enemies just from rushing through. And then next up, get in front of this box here, look for this line right there, and then left, right click your flash, and you can see in the preview, go, go right 
down in to the underpass perfectly blinding the enemy so if you're out here and the flash comes down it will be fully blinding your enemies and if you want to you can take two people one peeking from here one peeking from here flashing everybody the best thing is you can just take here and peek with the flash or if you stand up here you can do the same thing flash comes down and will completely obliterate anybody standing in that area there to get a flash if you want to go a bit aggressive on to B site, you can do this, throw this smoke. First off, get in front of this sign right here, go up there, and then look for the tippy top of this building here and follow it all the way up right to this area there. So you go up that area just to the top there. You can use the uh, crosshair that CS2 added recently just to get the alignment correct. And then you just jump through your smoke. Smoke goes nice, lands inside of the window bounces off the windowsill and lands perfectly deep in front of B site. This is the only way to get onto B site except by boosting up here or getting up there. This will be the only way to get in, so that blocks the entrance off immediately from the CT spawn. Another thing you can throw is another very deep smoke for the A site and it will be thrown from the CT spawn. So if you want to get aggressive again, I like these smokes to get aggressive, take a lot of room on the map. That's why I do them. First off, you get into this corner here, look for this pillar, the old roman or greek pillar right up there and go to the tp top right of this and then just jump throw your smoke smoke does a nice bounce and lands perfectly inside of the window bounces off and smokes off this area you can if you want to peek from here you can use this as a kind of lurk smoke peek around this and will catch the enemies a bit off guard there on that case or just i don't know go from here take a boost over the smoke jump spot over the smoke or just use a different angle just take a bit of room out of the enemy's perspective Last but not least, we have a Molotov for the B site. You can use it for your retakes or just as a prevention for enemies to come out quickly. Stand in front of this wall here, look up right in the middle of this beam and then just Holy next the Molotov. The Molotov will land inside here because this is like the area where the enemies will most likely stand after they planted the bomb. If they take back or the plant here and go back a bit more passive, they'll either stand here or even a bit deeper there. So if you molly out this area, they have to go offensive and try to pick you or even consider not to come in because they're low HP making an easy defuse for you to take in your retakes. Okay guys, that was it for the video. Just some quick tips and tricks on Thera you can use in your future games, in your future matchmaking games, and I hope you get a lot of frags and some nice rounds with this. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic videos in the future. See you in the next one.